Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of this blue triangle. In the figure, we observe a semicircle and a square shaped quadrilateral which has sides of length 2 units each. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of this triangle? It is very simple. We start by labeling the point. The first thing we are going to do, come here through this point S, draw a side parallel to this side, call this point A and this B, assume the length of this side to be X, and thus y from the square we know opposite sides of a square are parallel that is this side and this are parallel if we look at this quadrilateral since this side and this are parallel and this and this are also parallel it is a rectangle in a rectangle opposite sides are equal in length that is, this and this are equal, and this and this are also equal. So since this is x, this must also be x. And since this side has its length to be 2, the length of this side must also be 2. But we have this power of a to be y. Therefore, this must be 2 minus y. And here... Since the length of line RWV is 2 units and we have this part to be x, the length of this side must be 2 minus x. Still on the rectangle, all four angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees. Back to the square, we see this line RT connects two opposite vertices of the square. That makes it a diagonal and we know the diagonal of a square makes an angle 45 degrees with each side of the square. Come to this semicircle, draw out the complete cycle. Here we see this line if we touch the cycle at this point S. That makes it a tangent of the cycle. And from the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. Here, this line is a diameter. So from its midpoint, if we draw a radius to this point of contact, it will be perpendicular to the tangent. Take a look at this triangle, it is a right angle triangle and we have this angle to be 45 degrees. Based on the rule that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 45 degrees which is 45 degrees. The triangle being right and having two congruent angles makes it an isosceles right angle triangle and in an isosceles right angle triangle the sides facing the congruent angles are equal so we can say x equal to y come here replace y with x if we call the center o this line segment is also a radius so since this part of it is x this must be r minus x come here assume the size of this angle to be h we see this angle this right angle and this lie on the same straight line and we know the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees so since this is h and this is 90 degrees, 
this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus h 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees so the angle is 90 degrees minus h look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle and it has an angle h same is for this triangle it is also a right angle triangle and it has an angle h that makes the two triangles similar but the fact that this side facing angle h has a length 2 minus x which is the same as this side also facing angle h that makes the two triangles congruent triangles we have this to be r therefore this must also be r also this side and this are congruent so we say r minus x equal to x take negative x to the right x plus x is 2x so r equal to 2x 2x minus x is x now look at this triangle since it is a right angle triangle we can use the Pythagorean theorem on it. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So by Pythagoras, 2x all squared equal to x squared plus 2 minus x all squared. 2x all squared is 4x squared. 2 minus x all squared is 2 minus x times 2 minus x, which is 2 times 2 minus x minus x times 2 minus x. 2 times 2 minus x is 4 minus 2x and minus x times 2 minus x is minus 2x plus x squared minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x x squared plus x squared is 2x squared this 4x squared is 2x squared plus 2x squared this 2x squared cancels this 2x squared so 2x squared equal to 4 minus 4x bring these to the left so 2x squared plus 4x minus 4 equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation using the quadratic equation formula that is x equal to minus 1 plus root 3 or x equal to minus 1 minus root 3 x is the length of this side it can't be negative we discard this so x equal to minus 1 plus root 3 that is x equal to root 3 minus 1 come to this triangle it is a right angle triangle we can use the circle to our on it taking this angle as theta this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse from here, SOH means sin theta equal to opposite of our hypotenuse. Opposite is x and hypotenuse is 2x. Here, x eliminates x. So sin theta equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, theta will be sin inverse of 1 over 2, which is 30 degrees. That is the size of this angle is 30 degrees but this whole angle is a right angle so since this part is 30 degrees this must be 90 degrees minus 30 degrees which is 60 degrees now come here we see this line touch the cycle at this point that makes it a tangent of the cycle if you draw the radius from the point of contact, the angle will be right. Here we see this tangent and this start from this point. From the circle theory, there is a rule that if two tangents are drawn to the same cycle from a point, their segments are congruent. 
that is this set and this are equal so since this is 2x this must also be 2x let's look at this quadrilateral all four of its sides have their lengths to be 2x we observe at least two right angles in it this is only possible for a square shaped quadrilateral so therefore it is a square we see this line connects two opposite vertices of the quadrilateral therefore it is a diagonal of the square we know the diagonal of the square makes an angle 45 degrees with each side angle let's look at this triangle two of its angles are 45 degrees and 60 degrees based on the rule that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees this must be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 60 degrees which is 75 degrees still on the triangle we can use the sine rule assume the length of this side to be m and this n so applying the sine rule it will be m over sine 60 degrees equal to 2x over sine 75 degrees which equal to n over sine 45 degrees x is root 3 minus 1 sine 60 degrees is root 3 over 2 sine 75 degrees is root 3 plus 1 all over 2 root 2 and sine 45 degrees is 1 over root 2 so m over root 3 over 2 equal to 2 times root 3 minus 1 all over root 3 plus 1 all over 2 root 2 which equal to n over 1 over root 2 if you simplify this m is root 6 into bracket 4 minus 2 root 2 and n is 2 into bracket 4 minus 2 root 3 come to this side its length is 2 unit but this part is n therefore this must be 2 minus n substitute the value of n 2 minus 2 into bracket 4 minus 2 root 3 we can factor out 2 so it is 2 into bracket 1 minus 1 into bracket 4 minus 2 root 3 minus into bracket 4 minus 2 root 3 is minus 4 plus 2 root 3 1 minus 4 is minus 3 so it is 2 into bracket 2 root 3 minus 3 To calculate the area of this triangle we can use the formula 1 over 2 a b sin c let this be a and this be this must be angle c so a equal to root 6 into bracket 4 minus 2 root 3 b equal to 2 into bracket 2 root 3 minus 3 and c equal to 180 degrees minus 75 degrees sine 180 degrees minus 75 degrees from trigonometry we know the sine ratio of 180 degrees minus an angle is equal to sine ratio of that angle so this is sine 75 and sine 75 is root 3 plus 1 all over 2 root 2 simplify this it will be 9 root 3 minus 15 so blue area equal to 9 root 3 minus 15 square unit thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and also turn on notifications thank you